Hello everyone, I'm Les Sean, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how video games are actually good for you. So I'm sure many of you out there play video games, and your parents probably come and tell you that it's bad for your eyes, but let me tell you something that's completely false. It's not bad for your eyes. First person shooter games and action games like Call of Duty, GTA, uh, Pac-Man, and other arcade games can actually help you in your eyes. They they enhance the color composition sense of your eyes so you can see more types of colors and better colors, like you have a better view of colors. And it's a fact that gamers can see one more shade of gray than normal human beings. First person shooters also help you in your hand-eye coordination, so does Pac-Man. Like if you're holding and moving the joystick while watching the screen, that improves your hand-eye coordination. Then today, okay, next we're gonna talk about Simulators. So simulators are these games that most of the simulators are actually the most educational games ever. Simulators simulate things that happen in real life. Like there's uh, NASA has their own space simulator. You can you know how a spaceship works or how it is in space. So if you want to be an astronaut later on in life, or if you just want to know how it feels like to be an astronaut, you play that simulator. There are other simulators like racing simulators, like Forza. Forza is one of the best uh, real life racing simulators that you can get because you have many options on how hard you want the game to be and the more hard it is the more real it is so yeah simulators actually educate you on how the world works there would be a space simulator a racing simulator even pilots in their training use simulators to fly planes and then there are also other games like minecraft so minecraft helps you in survival skills you can you, you learn how hard it is to be in the wild and it also gives you lots of skills and things that you never knew as a kid um, about, about the wild. Then there's another game called SimCity. So SimCity is all about managing a city. It's kind of like you're the mayor of a city and how a city works, how you manage the city. That's, that's what SimCity is all about. And there are... So, Parents probably say that sitting in one place and playing video games is really bad. But there are other video games which actually make you work. So there are like fitness video games, there's Wii Fitness, there is Just Dance. Just Dance is a game where you have to do what the dancer says. And now we have so much technology that they can actually sense if we're doing it right or wrong. So if we're doing it right, we get more points. So just like that, you get motivated to do it. And then you'll actually end up, you'll eventually start sweating. While video games is also good for your health, it's also good for your lifestyle. Like many gamers who are famous have many online friends. You can become social, you're gonna earn money, and a lot more things. Like there were these two students. I'm taking an example of two students. They're age 14 and 15, and they they game and they earn loads of money every single day just by gaming. So you you can tell your parents the next time they tell you to turn off your video game that. It's fine with playing video games because it's actually it's good for your health. And then show them this video. Thank you.